BBC Autos is launching on uh, January 10th. It's the third of our feature sections that we've launched. The first was BBC Travel, which launched a little over two years ago, and BBC Future, which launched just about a year ago. And the vertical is part of a broader strategy to to bring more topics to bbc.com and to enrich the experience. The launch on January 10th was, was no accident. We actually tied it to the Detroit Auto Show, which is kind of the Oscars of auto shows. Um, we have a number of our editorial team going, including Jonathan Schultz, the editor of the section, and, and David Allen, the managing editor for all the feature sections, and a number of the contributors that are bringing content to the vertical, because we really wanted to have boots on the ground, both covering the event, but also beginning to spread the word for the vertical at the event among car enthusiasts and people in the industry. The content that we're going to run is different than you might expect from a typical autos website in that it's really full-blown features with tons and tons of really great imagery and really engaging content. Different in that most car websites will give you press releases, kind of regurgitated industry information, but this is really delving deep into, into topics and tapping into the passion that true car enthusiasts have for the topic. Initially, video is going to be a smaller piece of the vertical with more and more coming over time. Uh, the, the first series, it's an original series that we're going out with, is called Real Live Test Drive. And it's this idea that car manufacturers spend a lot of time researching who they're aiming their vehicles at. So we decided that who, who better to review those cars than those people. As we move further into time, we will start to tap into other BBC brands and BBC resources to pull in video from places like topgear.com, from what BBC News and BBC Sport are covering in the industry, including Formula One racing, and as, as well as any other video we can find online, really we'll use the entire internet and we'll, we'll curate what we think is best. BBC Autos was a natural choice. We did some consumer research and we came up with a number of topics that we put in front of our readers and asked them which they'd most like to see. And really, all the topics we came up with scored very, very high on just a pure preference level. So that was easy. But we also, as part of this strategy, wanted to use these feature sections to kind of bridge the gap into other BBC brands, because BBC News is over here, and then Top Gear is kind of a hybrid of entertainment and news, and sits over here, and then there's coverage of Formula One, which sits in BBC Sport, and we wanted to find a way to give our users a kind of plausible journey into those other brands. And so Autos, because of all those that other content that the BBC is already producing around the topic, seemed like a natural choice. And on top of that, we also got a lot of interest from the advertising community, and it seemed that there was a real gap in the marketplace for exactly this kind of content, and they really felt like they were not getting, well, exactly what we're going to be delivering them. We're very pleased to announce that our launch partner in this is Cadillac, and it's a company that advertised with us in smaller ways throughout the years, but now because of this vertical, they are working with us in a deeper fashion. So we will be working with them initially, and we continue to talk to all of our advertisers, both inside the category as well as outside the category, and looking for ways to partner with them as well. We're very excited that we found Jonathan Schultz, who is the launch editor on this right now. Jonathan comes from the Wheels blog at the New York Times, which he has been manning for a number of years now. He's got a lot of experience in the industry. He's worked with a number of very talented writers and com columnists already, so he brings with him a Rolodex that's going to benefit this section a great deal. And we've already seen it in the content that we've started to collect in advance of the launch. Um, Jonathan is, has been brought in by David Allen, who is our managing editor for all the feature sections. David also comes from the New York Times, which is, in this case, just a coincidence. Um, David was brought here originally to launch BBC Travel and has done a tremendous job there, was part of the team that launched BBC Future as well, and is now ascended into the managing editor role. And he'll be overseeing all the editors for each of the individual sections. The BBC Travel, as I said, launched uh, about two years ago. And for the BBC, it was a bit of an experiment, because BBC.com had really been about kind of core hard news. And this was its first real foray into what we would think of as a feature section. And it was tremendously successful, both with users and advertisers. And that led to the launch of BBC Future last February. On the back of that, we're launching BBC Autos now, but coming very shortly thereafter, we're going to launch a few more verticals this year and then continue to explore topics until we feel like we've covered everything that we want to cover. Following Autos is likely to be BBC Culture, which is going to be a look at kind of arts and culture around the world. That one is going to be more globally focused um, initially, and then we'll focus on specific markets thereafter. 
And following that, we're going to do an exploration of business, and we're going to come at business from a slightly different angle than you're going to find anywhere else right now. But details on that are hidden for the moment, but they will follow.